There is a time and a place for discount brokerages. Some people aren't just meant to be sold in the regular real estate model with the listing agent and a buyer's agent uh, bringing the transaction together. And I've literally given the phone number of flat fee discount brokerages to people where this is what they had to do. Forgive me, Hurricane Ian, still patching. Um, you know, today I was going through the MLS and I was looking in a certain point of, a part of town for a home just to see what entry level pricing is. And a property popped up and it was super low, a single family home as it was listed. Um, and so I, it got my attention. I clicked on it because I knew the address was a condo building. And, um, you know, it is a discount brokerage and um, it is listed as a single family home when it is in fact a condominium. Um, there are some really heavy fees uh, for special assessments in that neighborhood that buyers would need to know about. I mean, to the tunes of tens of thousands for some infrastructure repairs. And um, also in the Cobroke section, it read $1 for a buyer's rep. So they would pay you $1 to sell your property. And that may well be the case. They're sort of like, you figure it out with your buyer how you're going to get paid. But I feel it was probably you know, going to be a 1%. Um, the long story short is you kind of get what you pay for. And I know that it fits some people to be with the flat fee brokerage, but you also need to uh, review your property online and do some searches to see if it's populating in the searches for which it should populate. And uh, to see the full report with the agency so that if there are inaccuracies, um, you will find out about them sometime soon rather than, I think this one, at 18 days. Apparently, it's been on the market 18 days and nobody's bothered to tell this uh, particular seller, which I'll do uh, just because that's the kind of thing I do.